Oh no, that's not the $40 Foley. Ugh. What you just saw there is a demonstration of a little technique known as recording fully. Capture a video clip with some sort of action and then later record some audio to be paired with that action, put it together, and congratulations, you're well on your way to becoming a Foley artist. But what I want to know is can you really tell the difference between a cheap Foley artist and an expensive Foley artist. That is what we're gonna be putting to the test today. The sponsor of today's video, Fiverr, has accepted this challenge and they've provided us with the opportunity to go on their website and hire some Foley artists to create some sound effects for my watermelon smoothie video I filmed a couple months back. Now I started off by crafting a message for unknowing contestants, letting them know that I needed custom Foley recordings and sound design for my video and apart from that, they'll have full creative freedom. Now in order to ensure that these sellers are in fact recording original custom Foley specific specifically for my video and not just recycling old sound effects they've pre-recorded, I am additionally requesting that they also send me real video proof of them recording these sounds. That way we know for sure they're not trying to pull a fast one on us. And so without further ado, let's meet our five unknowing contestants who have no idea that they are a part of this blind comparison challenge. All right, everybody, coming in at $40, we have hired Peter Budai. Our friend Peter here is going to make our video slash audio project alive, which I can only assume is better than the alternative. Contestant number two coming in at $80 is Mark Schwedo. Schwedo. Schwedo? Nice. Now at $200, our third contestant is Wormhole Sound. Apparently they've worked with brands like Nickelodeon, Ford, Bulgari? It sounds like they're the real deal. All right, now let's turn up the heat just a little bit and start dipping into some serious cash on these next two contestants. Our fourth contestant coming in at $400, we've got Marco Ivacci from Italy. It says here that he's graduated from an audio engineering school, so safe to say he probably knows what he's doing. And finally, coming in at $1,000. We've got Jonas Audio. Jonas Audio, my guy, Jonas, he's from Berlin. Looks here like they've got a pretty serious studio. I mean, for a thousand bucks, I would hope that you're working with something a little more than GarageBand on an iPod Touch. But now the moment we've all been waiting for, let's go ahead and get straight in. Wait, what? Sorry, they did what? With their mouth. Okay, yeah, I'll, yeah, I'll let them know. Yeah. All right, everybody, so it's officially time to watch these videos and start judging them, I guess, but there is a little bit of a twist. We're gonna be watching seller A, B, C, D, and E, but we don't know how much we paid for each one. Our goal right now is to guess which seller and the respective price point goes with which video. Let's watch the first one here. This is anonymous seller A. Okay, this is gonna be a lot harder than I thought. So firstly, that is not how I would have done the Foley at all. It was like very ambient, almost spooky, a lot of reverb. Now it's really cool, I actually have the blender cup here that I used for that video. There's these little ridges here, right? And when you roll it, it's not just a smooth roll, there's kind of like a, like a t -t 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 -t. I love the attention to detail here, how you can actually hear each little thud every time a ridge hits the table. The bag grip is interesting because it doesn't really sound like plastic. It sounds more like a zipper, like a jacket zipper. I have no idea how much that costs. We're just gonna go in the middle because I have nothing to compare it to so far. But my best guess for right now is that seller A is the $200 Foley. All right, so this is anonymous seller B.
I'll start off by saying that I definitely liked A more than B. This was still really good. Now I'm wondering if A is actually the best one. <laughs> by no means is this bad. I would say the main thing I don't love about it is that it's almost over edited. Okay, I'd say the one thing I actually prefer about this one over the first one is that the bag rip actually sounds like a tear rather than a zipper, which I think is a little bit more realistic. But other than that, I definitely prefer A. So we're gonna say that this is the $80 one because that's ranked lower than the 200 and that's what we're gonna go with for now. All right, up next, we've got Anonymous Seller C. Uh, I'm officially confused. This one is easily the best of the three we've listened to. That has to be the thousand dollar seller because I'll be shocked if we hear something better than that. All of the sounds are just so realistic. Listen to the cup hit the table. The rip is perfect. The watermelon flying out is perfect. Very tasteful, very realistic, very not intrusive. I like this one a lot. We're sticking with what I said. This is the thousand dollar fully. What on earth is this mouth noises? What? What you just heard is fully created by the mouth of Kindo Beats on Fiverr. And this is something that I have always wondered if it were possible. Uh, anyway, let's, uh, <laughs> let's move on to seller. What are we on now? Seller D. Okay, I don't think that was as good. That was really good. Ah. Now I wouldn't say that this was as good as Seller C, the one who I think was probably the thousand dollar Foley, but this, it's right up there with it. So I'm gonna, I'm gonna have to say that this is probably the four hundred dollar Foley. I, I think. If my guesses are correct so far, then that means that we haven't yet heard the $40 Foley, which means that this next one, seller E, would be the $40 Foley. So that's what we're gonna find out right now. Oh no, <laughs> that's not the $40 Foley. Oh. This one has to be the thousand <sighs> Okay, I need to listen to seller C one more time, the one that I thought was the thousand dollar Foley because now I'm wondering if this one, seller E, is actually the thousand dollar Foley, so I gotta go back and forth a little bit here and compare. <laughs> Okay, I cannot for the life of me tell which one is the $1,000 one. I have no idea. 
I am fairly confident that either seller C or seller E is the $1,000 Foley, which means the other three that I had ranked kind of in the middle, I just need to take those and bump them down. Okay, so I think I've got my final guesses dialed in. We're just gonna go in order from bottom to top. So starting with the $40, my best guess is that that was B. At $80, I think that was A. At $200, I think that was D. 400, mm, C, and 1000 E. I'm feeling pretty good about that. I honestly think that C and E could go either way, but I'm pretty confident with the remaining three. Time to find out. The seller A, who I thought was the $80 Foley, was actually Peter Budai, and his Foley cost $40. He actually used the same cup. Are those beads? <laughs> Boom, literally just as I suspected, he used a zipper for the bag. I knew it. For 40 bucks, that was a lot better than I expected, so job well done. Now moving along, seller B, who I thought was the $40 Foley, was actually Wormhole Sound, who their Foley cost $200. It was just a little bit over edited for my liking and the other ones were just a bit more realistic. <laughs> <laughs> I like that they're having fun with it, trying out different objects. This is what it's all about, being creative. It's supposed to be a good time. I wouldn't want to hire someone who hates what they do. So you know what? Extra points for wormhole sound on this one. All right, so moving along to seller C. This is the one that I originally thought was the $1,000 seller, but I since changed to be the $400 seller. But it turns out... Jonas Audio, it was the $1,000 seller. I knew I should have stuck to my original guess. This is the problem, I always second guess myself. Yeah, like already, just getting into those fine little details, just those little movements and whooshes. Mmm, there's that sharp sound of the blade on the blender cup. Okay, interesting, he's using a bag of ice cubes as the watermelon. I just noticed something. I'm not even sure what those little microphones are called. I think they might be contact mics, but I could be totally wrong. He's essentially taking the audio from both of those mics and layering them together to get a more full sound, which is really cool. All right, moving along to seller D. It actually turns out that this was Mark Schwedo, the $80 Foley. That's awesome, he's got such a simple setup. He's got the same Zoom H6 recorder that I use for my videos. Granted, we don't know what Mark's full studio looks like, but based on that little video right there, I mean, he's using one little audio recorder with the built-in left and right input. Overall, very impressive, especially when you consider that we only paid 80 bucks for this one compared to a couple of the other ones, which were much more expensive. And finally, as I suspected, Seller E was one of the top two most expensive Foley's that we got. Marco Ivachi, his this Foley was actually $400. Is... I am so confused. I've never seen that before. Is that actually sold as a product? Carrots already sliced up in a bag? Oh, okay, maybe not, because in this second video, that looks like the same packaging, but there's no carrots in there. I was really confused. Like, if you're gonna buy carrots, just buy a carrot. Don't get a bag of chopped carrots. That's just kind of silly. I'm not entirely sure what that contraption is, but it works perfectly for those metal blades on the uh, blender cup, that's great. All right, so if we take a look at how I did, these were all of my original guesses compared to what the actual sellers and their prices were. And as you can see, I didn't get a single one of these right. I bet if you asked an audio expert who knows way more about sound than I do, they would probably say, oh yeah, Jonas Audio, definitely the best one. But for me and my untrained ear, I can't really distinguish the difference between the quality of Jonas's Foley and Marco's. Thank you to Fiverr for sponsoring this video. If you would like to check out my curated store of all my favorite sellers on Fiverr, you can go to the link down in the description below. If you'd like to save some money, use the code Daniel10 at checkout and save 10% off your next purchase. But that's it. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, then make sure you smash that like button and leave a comment. Don't forget to subscribe. Follow me on Instagram at Daniel.Schiffer. And as always, I will see you guys in the next video.